Welcome back to another vlog. Sorry about the noise, it's really loud. I'm walking home. I've just been to a run club, which was so fun. Um, it's called Runners and Stunners, and hosted by a girl called Jenny Fit. And it was honestly so good. We did 8K, we started at Tower Bridge and then ran across all of the famous bridges in London. So we went to like Big Ben, we saw Westminster, London Eye. It's honestly so good. I'll tag her running club down below. She's quite famous, so, or she's quite famous on Instagram. Um, and she produces like really good running content all about how anyone can actually run. And yeah, it was lovely. I, met, I went with my friend Hannah and then we stopped off and had a really nice cinnamon bun. And we ran across all of the bridges, it was so fun. I am gonna insert some footage of that now. It was amazing it was such an inspiring day you know when you haven't done something for so long and then you're like wait a minute anyone can run all you have to do is put some trainers on and get out there and just go at a slower pace my friend hannah who is quite into running well she runs you know 3k's 5k's like quite regularly and she's done that cl club before and she was so good she like stayed with me because i was obviously like not struggling a bit oh yeah i was struggling a bit actually <laughs> um it was i found it quite tough but it was so nice, there was so much to look at, there were so many tourists, everyone was so chatty and like we just chatted and caught up the whole way around and it was so nice. Um, I'm just heading home now and then I need to get ready because me and my brother are going to the theatre tonight. A little last minute trip and I think it's going to be really good. Um, one sec. Glory. London Life. Yeah, he's wanted to see this play for a while. Um, obviously I'll give you a full review. I'm going to get ready with you guys when I get in and I went to Sainsbury's and picked up a few different bits for lunch. It's actually half past 12. I feel so accomplished for the day. You know when you sometimes think, how do people fit in doing regular exercise into their daily life? Like, I think it is just prioritizing. I want to be much better at that. I feel so good. So yeah, it's called Runners and Stunners. Check them out on Instagram. If anyone's in London, such a good way to meet people. There was loads and loads of girls who were there on their own. There was also people who came with friends. One girl brought her dog and things like that in London is some, one of those things where I think anyone that moves here and doesn't really have a community or a network of people, it's so easy to meet people like that. Well, I mean, you have to make yourself go along to these things. And it could be really like socially anxiety inducing. But for example, like Hannah, I met her at a book club that is hosted by a really lovely girl called Keelan who also shares her life on Instagram. She's called Wear What Works. Um, she does a book club called Wear What Works Book Club. Um, they have their own Instagram channel, so I will, Instagram channel, their Instagram handle. So I will link that as well because I met some lovely girls through there and we see each other quite regularly. And yeah, it's just such a good way in London to meet people, just go along to these things. And it is kind of nerve wracking before you go, but the community and like the nice people that you meet, like I met Hannah through the book club and now we're like really good friends. And then like another bunch of girls that we're meeting up like in a couple of weeks and going around for like a wine night at one of the girls' houses. So there's so many things that actually mean that you can meet people down here. You just have to like put yourself in those situations and the normal nice people do exist and they're out there. So yeah, I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling the endorphins are running. <laughs> I had a cinnamon bun in Gales, like I mentioned earlier, and you probably saw some clips. So I'm not actually that hungry, but I did pick up some bits from Sainsbury's because I need to eat before I go out tonight to meet my brother. Um, and I bought some bits to make like a nice roast chicken sandwich. So I'm gonna have a shower. 
I'm going to tidy up a little bit, although Matt's left it very clean and tidy in here. I might actually do a load of washing before I go out because it's so sunny. Do you ever feel like that if you don't do washing, you feel guilty because it, the sun's out and you've got a chance to dry it properly? Also, these little baby breath or whatever the hell this is called, Dipsophilia, is looking so cute in the little silver pot that I got. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to wear tonight, but I will do my get ready with you guys. Um, I might not make it as long as the previous one. Oh! Oh my god, I can't believe I caught that on camera. I think there was like a big spider that just crawled down the back of the sofa. This time of year is actually wild. Like, I have never... We've lived in this flat for a couple of years now. I've never seen spiders like it. This kind of like October, like heading into like autumn, even though it's really hot at the minute, the spiders are really coming inside. We've had some absolutely massive... You know when they're like not just... Like the body's big and the body's like you know, got a lot to it, but the legs are thick as well. Like they're kind of looking like baby tarantulas. Not really, that's dramatic, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with the spiders at the minute. Um, Anyway, I've completely lost my train of thought. I'm going to go get my shower, do all my bits and then come back and make a sandwich with you guys. I know you're all on the edge of your seats waiting for a shower update, but we have had the shower fixed. We think that it was just a shower tray leak, like the, the grout in wasn't like properly sealed or something. So we have the shower bag. I had a lovely long shower. I also have washed and blow dried my hair and then kind of turned the ends under. I'm gonna do like a little bit of a wave in my hair later before I go out, but I don't need to head out for a while. I've also put on my base makeup. So I used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I used the La Roche-Posay Anthelios SPF. And then I went in with my favorite Clarins Skin Illusion Foundation SPF 15 in the shade 2, oh my god, what is that? 025C, that is my shade. So if you're pale like me, this is a good colour. I feel like this is like a perfect match. I also used the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Creme. In the shade Creme. <laughs> I thought let's do the fun bit of makeup together because it can actually drag on quite a while. I wanted to use the Glossier Cloud Paint today. I actually love these. This is more, this is the shade Dawn and it's a bit more of a summery shade. One of my best friends is called Dawn, so shout out if you're watching Dawn. And her dad also watches my YouTube videos. Hi Robert. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the shade Dawn and I love it. It's just so summery. I actually put way too much on the back of my hand there because um, these go a long way. So I usually just like dip my finger in. I love the consistency of these. I just feel like, they, I feel like they give such a nice pop of color and it's like really vibrant, but then they're also quite easy to blend. But a lot really does, a little really does go a long way. You really don't need that that, that much. And can you see, it's just like a really bright color. If anyone remembers, probably my audience, probably my audience are too old to be having Snapchat now, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I used to have Snapchat when I was younger. And do you remember that filter that used to have like the rainbow mouth? So you would open your mouth, you put the filter on your face, open your mouth, and then the rainbow would all flow out your mouth. And it had like really rosy cheeks. This color from Glossier really reminds me of that. I feel like it's just such a perfect like little sunburnt sort of shade. And it looks like natural, but also like a bit nicer. Um, it's got a real like orangey red undertone to it. Also, if you can hear my voice is a bit croaky, I'm fully recovered, I'm no longer ill. But Matt has started putting the fan on again in our bedroom when we're sleeping at night because he was getting a bit hot. And it does something to my throat, honestly. Like, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the coldness. I can't cope with it. Every time I wake up, I'm like, I must sleep with my mouth open. It must be that. How gross. I'll just go over a little bit with my foundation brush on the edges. I actually feel like sometimes I get a bit blush blind. Is that what they call it? Blush blind? I absolutely love a bit of colour like this. I feel like it makes my blue eyes pop a bit more. Also, I need you guys' help. If you have any recommendations for a good powder, please let me know because I looked at the Huda Beauty one. I've heard really good things about a Gucci powder, I think. Is it Gucci? Do Gucci even make makeup? I just need something that I'm going to be able to put on my T-zone to kind of just control a bit of shine. I do love a glowy look, but sometimes it's a bit much. Um, I kind of use my little, I use this little Real Techniques brush 
and kind of just use a bit of X, like put a tiny bit of powder. I use, I've been using like an old Rimmel one, but it's not, I don't know, sometimes it goes a bit patchy. And I've just been dusting the kind of areas that get really oily. I mean, I'm definitely a dry skinned person, but sometimes I have a bit of shine towards the end of the day that I just kind of want to like erase without having to take my makeup off. I'm gonna use again this shade Morongo from my NARS Laguna palette. You know I love this shade, it's just such an easy brown and it blends so well. I'm gonna just do this as like a wash of colour over the eye. I'm gonna go in with my Clinique felt liner and just do like a really thin, small line across the eye. I'm gonna use my favorite Swede mascara. This is the easiest one that I find to get off. It gives such a natural look to the lashes. It's just like your eyes are a bit dark, your lashes are a little bit darker, and I really like it. I mean, it doesn't give the most volume or, it gives a lot of length, but not a lot of volume. And I just find it is like a really nice brown mascara. Even when I do my glam makeup, I don't wanna look like cake to makeup. I just like to kind of look like myself, but a bit enhanced. <laughs> I think everyone does. I'm gonna leave the makeup there for now because I'm gonna put on my lip liner, my lipstick, all of that jazz before we head out. But I really need to make myself a sandwich. It's now 10 to three and I'm starving. So let's go and do that. Sandwich time. I am gonna make a roast chicken sandwich today. I picked up a few bits from Sainsbury's, just a very couple of bits. So I thought I would quickly show you them. The first thing, a bag of fresh lettuce. Obviously we need to have a bit of crunch in the sandwich. Also need to get some of our five a day in there. Love a bit of lettuce. I really like this brand. It's called Umbraleafable and it's longer lasting leaves and apparently it's grown without pesticides. And it actually is a lot longer lasting and I just like the texture of this stuff. It's like different kinds of leaves, the usual ones you get, but love it. Next, tomatoes. Oh, they smell so good. I can smell them in the packet. These are a little bit more expensive. It's £2.25 for this little packet of them. But honestly, these cut up with a bit of salt on them and pepper, black pepper. Oh my God, in a sandwich, a little bit of mayo with some, my chicken. It's going to be gorge. Then a little detour from the sandwich. I picked up an original source body wash, lemongrass and sweet orange. I'm really enjoying their new packaging. I feel like it's so much more classy. I don't really like those kind of the current packaging. I really like the way these look and they actually smell really good. I feel like these scents are a bit more complex and just smell a bit more luxurious than the usual bottles. Yeah, this one's lemongrass and sweet orange. So we currently have the lavender one in the bathroom and I really like it. The final thing I picked up in Sainsbury's is this pack of ready to eat roast chicken breast slices. Obviously I know I could have bought chicken breast and then just sliced it up myself. I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling like I could accomplish that today. I just kind of wanted like nice pre-cooked chicken. So let's get making our sandwich. The bread is already toasting in the frying pan. I don't use any butter. I just do use a completely dry pan and then just kind of toast one side of it. I'm not doing like a toasty or a melt today. So I don't think I'll put it in the air fryer, but I just wanted the edges crisp. Bread, the bread is toasted on one side, you know, toast this side, leave this side. I'm gonna point the camera down now and you're gonna see my view. <laughs> Let's start with some pesto on one side. I love this pesto, it's really good quality, I think. Obviously, homegrown pesto would be way better, but I don't have a pestle mortar, I don't have a food processor, so that ain't happening today. Just a little bit on the other side. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mayo because I love mayo. Okay. I'm gonna spread this. Delish. This salad is washed and ready to eat, by the way, for anyone that's going to tell me off for not washing it. Most of our salad that we buy in the UK is actually pre-washed. I mean, we probably should do it anyway, but yeah, this is washed and ready to eat. There's, and it's not grown with pesticides. I don't know if any of you guys watched back in Vlogmas, but my brother got me these knives from ProCook. The brand is Nihon, ProCook, Nihon and they are so good. You need to keep them sharp, obviously, but they just slice through tomatoes. Well, they slice through anything, it's a knife, obviously, but I just love them and I love the way they look and they sit really nicely out on the like knife block that he also got us. So thank you again, brother. I'm sure you're watching. Okay, 
Okay, now I need to sprinkle them with salt. The very important thing is to get all of your tomatoes salted. It actually breaks my heart that Matt does not like tomatoes like this. I'm one of those people that would definitely order like a tomato salad or Crip and Dip, if any of you guys follow her. Her name's Maddie, she makes like food videos, often a hungover takeaway. She brought out a bagel with Paco's bagel and it's like the main star of the show is these heirloom tomatoes and honestly it looks incredible. With like a basil oil on it and it looks incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna do a slice like that. And then we have the chicken. A little bit more mayo on this side. Oh my god, this looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this. This I'm gonna just cross section, guys. Wow. Here we go. I actually also thought let me get these tortilla chips because they're gonna go nicely with the sandwich. Pesto, the mayo, the cheese, everything. This is a 10 out of 10 sandwich. I'm gonna recreate this again tomorrow for my lunch. It's so good. Okay, I've also been watching, well, I was watching it on my phone earlier and now I'm gonna watch it on here on the big screen, Sophia and Chinsia's vlogs. If you guys don't know, I'm sure I've mentioned a million times before, I think I have like mentioned their podcast a few times. The Girls' Bathroom, their podcast is like one of my favorite ever podcasts. I listen to it every Wednesday, like a religion. I've even told like all the girls at work, you need to watch this, uh, you need to listen to this. And they're all hooked as well. It's so, so good. It's my favourite. Anyway, I'm going to sit, watch this, enjoy my sandwich, do a little bit of life admin, and then it'll be soon time to head out and see my brother. You're going to see him today in this vlog. I'm just waiting for the bus now to head to meet my brother. I just did a really quick turnaround in there because I lost track of time and then I realised the bus was coming in like two minutes. So I'm really out of breath, but I'm just wearing my denim shirt and then black trousers. I have a coat and my APC bag. Just mostly the coat because it might be cold by the time we get out. The thing starts at half seven, um, so I'm not sure when I'll get home. brother and then our friends Ross and Hope and my brother suggested this really sweet little cocktail bar called Larry's it's just underneath the National Portrait Gallery and it's stunning like the artwork the lighting is all so gorgeous and they've got loads of cool art on the walls So I'm just coming on here real time from Greece. We are in our hotel room in Napfeo and look at this view. I just wanted to end the vlog, but I wanted to quickly show you how stunning. Excuse the ash tree. I think this is very common in Europe, but oh my God, the view is so nice. I'm just enjoying a really nice morning coffee and I've been sitting there editing. We had an amazing evening last night. We went out for a really nice meal for our friend's welcome night of their wedding. So yeah, I just wanted to end this vlog here and say thank you so much for watching. It was a really long one. I am, um, it was a really long one. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you for the next one on Wednesday. Bye.